Zero cleaners. Tell us about it, Kuba. Yeah, I'm just gonna start. For everyone who doesn't know, Zero Cleaners is basically a single player. It's a stealth action game where you get to become a cleaner for the mob in the New York City, in the New York City in the 90s. So you basically clean up after someone's made a mess, and it was a bloody mess because you know, people got killed a lot back in the days in the 90s, especially in New York. So there was a lot of cleaning to do, and someone had to do it, but for the for the mob. So. You're gonna play as someone like that. So who's this guy? This guy is Bob. Um, he was the uh, the main character of the first game. He his job didn't change. He's doing what he was doing back in the days in the 70s. But he's like 20 years older now. So his style mm, didn't really change. He he refused to go with the flow. And as you can see, he loves his shirts. And okay. And so this is some concept art from the character. Yeah. That's uh, there was. You know, there was a lot of thinking. How could the guy look right now? He was 20 years younger back then in the 70s, but you know, times time flies, and 20 years can make quite a change. How would he look like? How you know how his career would hmm. uh, would affect his looks, his uh, his personality? Would he get super grim, or would he still have a little humor in him? Like, I, I mean, you know, fashion doesn't always. You know, fashion just revolves, right? So he could probably yeah. look similar, right? So, but he's in the 90s now, right? Yeah, he's in the 90s, but he still wears 70s. For whatever reason, he's decided that that's his style and, and he likes it. Yeah. And the, the music he's listening to actually stayed almost the same, like time flight, and he just got stuck in the 70s, in a sense. You, you're going to see that in his style, but also in his, in his cleaning style, because his style from the first game, the, the play style he used to represent, as you can see, didn't really change. You were yeah. doing exact, exactly what you do here, but you know, here everything is improved. So we're seeing him uh, do some cleaning. Uh, so his thing is uh, wrapping up bodies. Um, so that's is that one of his sort of special things that he does so when you're uh because you can pick a variety of characters uh in this game because there's no you're not you don't have to just play as bob you get to be other cleaners don't you yeah uh, it's not really his specialty some players can use body bags and some can't uh, the difference is if you wrap up a body in a, uh, a body in a body bag, uh, it doesn't leave a blood trail when you drag it. Uh, but wrapping up a body takes some time, so you gotta make strategic decisions. If you wanna drag mm. a body and leave a bl bloody trail, trail, or do you just wanna, you know, do you feel like you've got the time to wrap it up and just pick it up and it's gonna be clean? With Bob, it's different though. You don't always wanna use a body bag because he can slide on blood, as you can probably see. Uh, he can slide on blood, so you almost want to make more mess while cleaning, so you can make I was, your job easier. Yeah, I was just noticing that Bob was sliding around on the blood, like, on his feet. Yeah, that, that's his specialty, <laughs> that's what he was doing in the first game, that's what he's doing now, but, you know, the feeling is just so much better, everything is improved, but, so this improved as well. But, yeah, it's his core mechanic, and I think it really shows his style. He hasn't changed since the 70s. He just got older and better at it. But, but there's no, you know, no change to the, to his pillars, to what he believes in and how he cleans. His style stayed the same, but he just got better at it, basically. Okay, so is is Bob basically the boss, or? Yeah, he's kind of the boss, like a father figure almost. It's not like he's making executive decisions only, but yeah, he's he's a father figure. He's he's a teacher. He saved the other cleaners, one way or another. He's he's a model. He's a role model more than a, than the boss, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, he seems to he does have that sort of father figure and, like you say, a role model. Yeah. Um, I do like the way he slides around, like on his feet. That's uh, <laughs> utilizing actually, a blood patch rather well. <laughs> it's it's super fun to slide on blood and it, it's actually very useful because you don't make a sound when you're sliding and you're not wasting your stamina you'd, you'd use if you were running that's that's a huge advantage to use using you know sliding but you, you gotta have a 
the blood around to slide. So mm. it, it's it's a tactical decision whether you want to leave the blood for now and use it to slide on it to make your escapes easier to transport the bodies faster, you know, move around the map quicker and more efficiently. But you're gonna have to clean the blood at some point. Yeah, because you need to clean the blood up to essentially. It's part, it's of, the part job. of the job. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's, uh, you know, it's, it's not just about scooping up bodies. There's lots of other things you do within the game as well, isn't there? It's like, you know, I don't, obviously not revealing too much, but, you know, yeah. part, like, pick, removing bodies just sort of part of it as well. Yeah, you, you gotta plan, plan your way around the map. Mm. There's also evidence, big evidence that you have to carry around and throw away, like shown on the video. Uh, on a boat, it's easier. You can yeah. just, you know, toss it. <laughs> Hurl the body just into the sea! And, you know, <laughs> she's gonna take the rest of everything. Just take lock the body into the sea. Yep. <laughs> Boat is a, a very good place to clean in. I mean, if you have to clean up a bloody massacre, a boat is pretty good, actually. Oh, it's perfect, isn't it? Absolutely. Yep. You know, sharks, definitely some yep. food there. You're gonna see a shark eating up a body. Yep, oh, yeah, you're right. That yeah. just, that was... I mean, you, just, you just gotta, you know, look closely to that. But, but yeah, Ocean will take care of the evidence and the bodies pretty well for you. There's also You can also see cleaner sense being used. That's a, that's a feature that allows you to see <coughs> the map and the, uh, the tools, the possibilities you've got on the map so you can plan out and uh, make strategic decisions about what you're gonna do and how you're gonna move. What's gonna be your path? What, what can you afford to do? What you mm. know, What are the possibilities really? Like, this is just shows you what's possible, and yeah. you gotta choose how you're gonna execute them. And he just uh, what is that? He's pe oh, he's just wrapping up a body there. Yeah. Um, and looks like he's going to uh, potentially eat it into the sea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just, I was just looking at it. I just love that map, the, the color palette. I, mm. You can pro probably see that this map is, is kind of different. There are things happening. If you look closely, things appear and they disappear. And you know, I don't really reveal. I don't really want to reveal why is that happening. Because yeah. Where, where's the fun in that? But yeah, it, it's it's not a glitch. It's it's it works as intended. Oh. So who's this guy? We've got um. This, I mean, he seems to like a chainsaw. This is. Yeah, uh... I mean, you're not gonna be surprised that his nickname is Psycho. <laughs> That's uh, right. He's, the, he's called Psycho. Yeah. We've got the same color hair, so I already got an affinity to him. Not in, not for any other reasons, just for the hair. Yeah, I, I don't have <laughs> the same color, but you know, I feel the connection for whatever reason. I like chainsaws as well. So. <laughs> we have something going, but yeah, this guy. He also almost believe, belongs in the asylum more than the in the uh, society, but I guess that's why he's working for the mob and you know cleaning in a very special kind of way. Sometimes you just gotta you know make more mess to clean it up at the end. The psycho uses his chainsaw for cleaning. I know it sounds weird, but sometimes smaller parts are easier to clean up than the bigger ah, parts. Ah, I see where you're going with this. So, you know, the chainsaw is not, not just a snazzy accessory, but it, no. I'm guessing because they're going to come in handy uh, when uh, when playing the actual mission. Uh, yeah, it is it gonna... very handy. It's, uh -huh. it's very useful. Though. It's not there by, by accident. It's, it's very well planned and he's using it super efficiently because he just likes this tool for whatever reason. I mean, you can see some of the hairstyles that were considered for him. Uh, yeah, it's good concept art we've got here as well. He's uh, I'm quite enjoying the, the spiky one in the corner there. That's quite a good look. Maybe I could rock that one. Because seeing as he's not using this one anymore. Um, I definitely want to see you rocking that hairstyle. Because I'm, I'm, I'm already rocking that, that top middle one, you know, so... Yeah. I can see that. I can see the resemblance. We just have to see you with, uh, with, with a saw in your hand, and yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> now there's a scene where he picked up his, uh, his chainsaw and. Oh, okay. So this is this is the chainsaw, I'm yeah. guessing in use, right? Yeah. 
it's, it's not very surprising that he's using it that way, but... Yeah. What, what, what else are you gonna do with a chainsaw anyway? Cut down a tree. Or cut down a body. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, cut down a body. I forgot about that one. And here he goes, you know... Uh, People seem to forget. Yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, making them smaller, easier to dispose of. Yeah, you can transport them easier. Okay. Makes all sense. Yeah. Uh, and here he goes. Yeah, he's gonna uh, cut another body because that's what he does. And here's an Olympic sport in the making. I feel like... Oh, oh yeah. I feel like, you know... I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, that's my favorite part of playing Psycho, just throwing in limbs into a wood chipper. I feel like there's there's a, a sport here waiting to happen. You know, we've had all these different sports. Uh, oh, you know. Well, just, one just, day I, I, it's going to become a real sport. And I'm yeah, gonna and there'll be here. medals and like, you know, rosettes. A very, very grim Olympics that would be, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of waiting for it. Maybe it, maybe it will happen. As you so, can hear, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, as you can see, um, his playstyle. I mean, having a chase and so allows for a different playstyle than Bob's because mm. people, when you see someone cutting up a body, it's not a, a usual uh, sight. So you might pass out a little. Uh, right. Yeah. So the police officer basically passed out because he's seen such a terrible thing. You, you don't want to see that, but when the policeman pass out, Psycho takes advantage of them uh, and just picks them up and hides them in a locker, on in a toilet, or somewhere else around the map. It frees up a lot of space, so you don't have to care about them. all that patrol and all the policemen, you, you know, you yeah. think their numbers, and it makes the, your job a lot easier. It's risky, but it's rewarding if you pull it off. Yeah, so, like, does he have a different play style to Bob? Yeah, that's definitely. He can be more aggressive, in a sense, yeah. because throwing uh, objects at policemen with other characters doesn't knock them out. It uh, doesn't uh, make them pass out. They're, they just, they're just knocked out for a few seconds, so you can run, out, run away. Right. But with, with Psycho, Psycho is stronger and crazier, so he just, you know, he has more power. Yeah. To, to everything he does, so he just <laughs> knocks out people, and he's got more time to, you know, possibly get rid of them for a short while. He doesn't kill them really because he's cleaning. He's not yeah. cleaning, but yeah. As you can see, uh, here's his uh, cleaner sense. He also has to be strategic about the, the decisions he's making because, at the end of the day, he's not gonna, you know, knock out every policeman forever. That just it's impossible. You can, yeah. you can do that every now and then, but it has to be a tactical decision. And we, we've we got Viper here. That's uh, that's the first third character in, in the cast. Um, and she looks really cool. Sorry. Yeah. Just yeah. putting it out there. Yeah. She's a hacker and she's an alter alternative and, and, and a rebel. Hmm. She doesn't really, you know, she doesn't like rules. She, she wants her own style. She wants to do things her way. So, you know, there's, there was a lot of styles considered for her with, with a character so colorful and nothing restraining you really, you can go in many different directions. That's, she could wear anything and all of, all of those things would work and they would fit her. Yeah, she's like got super 90s uh, vibes going on. Like, I'm pretty sure I wore that in the 90s. <laughs> I'm really like, I mean, I probably still have that from the 90s. So. Yeah, I, I lived. I lived through the nineties. Sorry. Yeah, uh, I didn't. But I... <laughs> I'm not ashamed to have lived through the nineties. I enjoyed it. So. Yeah. But you know, I'm rediscovering nineties while working uh, on this game. And yeah, I saying this, I'm loving this concept art for the hair. It's giving me like, if she could, I feel like she could have had all these hairstyles from the character that she looks like. And appears to be she would have had these hairstyles every month once a month like 
yeah, she, she's that kind of she's mm. that kind of person that that would go through a lot of changes, test the yeah. waters, you know, anything that's interesting because things get boring and want to innovate. You don't want to get stuck, and you don't want to do what other people do. So you just keep changing, keep iterating, keep iterating, and that, yeah. Yeah. We, ch- we chose her style. Fi- at some point, we had to decide decide about something. You know, she had to have have her own style, something distinctive. But yeah, there was so many possibilities. She's a colorful character, and just... yeah, she's she's really great. And she, uh, like you said, she's a she's a hacker. So yeah. she basically uh, hacks her or infiltrates her way into into buildings, and then cleans her way out. And brings the building and uh, brings the bodies out by hacking them out. Uh, it's not exactly like that. <laughs> she's uh, she's using her tech skills to get to places that otherwise would be inaccessible to anyone, or you know, yeah. electric locks and all that kind of things. She's also smaller, so she can peep through vents and you know s- sneak around the map where no one would expect you to be. Because why, why would anyone get out of vent? That's yeah, so she can unlock doors and un- yeah. unscrew vents to get into places, um, that kind of thing. She's she's about being smart and cunning mm. uh, more than being agile and strong. And you know, you can have an action approach with her. She can knock down uh, policemen just as well as any, any other character. But she's got so many tools at her disposal to distract the guards. Like you can hack a computer and activate. A stereo in the other room so guards will go and see what's what's happening there oh you right yeah see. yeah so you could like turn on a light turn off a light that kind of thing yeah you can if it's electronic or electric you can use that to your advantage and draw someone's attention or use that in some other way yeah so there's so many different kind of play styles depending on like which character you're playing as it's just really yeah. interesting and really kind of cool. Like, you know, very different. Like, Bob's very different from Viper. So, oh, yeah, um, definitely. You, and you very can... different from Psycho. <laughs> oh, yeah. She also can't pick up the body, so you gotta be smart about what you're doing because she's smaller, so she can't just carry around a, a corpse on her back. It's, it's oh, impossible right. for her, so she, she's slower when, when she's uh, dragging the body, so you need to account for that and use your tech skills to make up for it. Um, as you saw there, you can open the doors. Uh, oh, yeah, she hacked the clock. computer. Yeah, that's, you know, there's no closed doors. If it's, if it's, if you can open it remotely, she's going to do it because yeah. she's just good at it. Sneaking around, it, I think, like, for sneaking, it's the best character. She's got lots and lots of tools at her disposal. And, the maps are full of opportunities. And here she is hacking a computer. So. Yeah, you're gonna... Because sometimes you just don't know where the bodies are or what are the exact evidence you're after. Mm. So you gotta hack a, hack a computer and find out what oh, are the right. things you're after. Yeah, you're yeah. gonna see the images. And that shows you where the bodies are in yep. the building. Exactly. So you, no. so you can now see them on your uh, cleaner sense, so basically a tac- t- tactical view. And you can now plan your way around it. Be- because before you didn't know what you were after exactly or where it was. And right Never. now, you just know. Yeah. You gotta find out sometimes. And you know, you, you can just use the vents to come from an unexpected angle. That's, uh, that's her strength. One thing I have noticed is flashing on the screen now and then are like little uh, graphics and images, uh, like pictures and stuff, which is kind of cool. Like she had one pop up just saying hacksaw. <laughs> um, yeah, those are very. They they feel very nineties and they add to the to the experience. So it feels more like nineties because nineties were colorful and full mm. of full, full of different aesthetics, and they're gonna pop out through the game, and you're gonna see them. Maybe not tons, but quite a lot, and you're gonna notice them that things pop up. And yeah, kind of a commentary. It's really cool. I uh, I definitely remember the '90s being very sort of stickers, button badges, like pop-ups and graphics and stuff. So it's uh, you know, it's very much a homage to the '90s. This game, oh, yeah. 
Um, not only with little references like that, but uh, references to film and to music. Um, yeah, it's very much uh, yeah, a love familiar, letter. Yeah, if you're familiar with 90s cinema, you're gonna see lots of different, uh, lots of um, reference. Lots of sims yeah, re lots of reference points uh, to 90s. You're gonna feel at home if you know mm. the 90s. And that's another character. She's called Laddie. Uh, it's no surprise. She's a cleaner. She's in the crew. And, you know, she does the job differently. Every, every single one of them is so different. They're, <coughs> they're very eccentric. Every, each, each one of them in a different way. They, they've got different styles and different strengths. Lati is, well, she's very agile. She takes care of herself. Like, she grew up in a tough neighborhood, so she knows how to take care of herself. Like, she's got cool head. She's, she's not only fast, she knows how to climb things. She knows how to vault over things. Basically, there's, there's, there's no place in the game she can't get to because there's, there's just not, not blocking. There's, there's no obstacle that she couldn't get through or nothing is too high. She's, she's gonna get there somehow. Yeah, I've seen her like you can pretty much jump over tops of buildings, over fences. Um, she can shove things out of the way. She's uh, seems pretty agile and physical in that respect. Uh, you know, she um, yeah, she likes to run. <laughs> oh yeah, she she likes to run. She does that really well. She's uh, she's re really fast, and you know, she's uh, when you're carrying a body. You're, slower obviously you can't run all that well and it, it's, it's just harder to run so if the policeman is after you and you're carrying a body your chances of escape are pretty slim so you either drop the body or you just keep running lati has it a little easier because she's just stronger than all of, all of the all of the characters so she can run faster and she's got the chance of escape even with with a body on her back mm. but you know she she's a very vertical character in a sense like She's gonna. She's gonna use ladders. She's gonna jump over things, to jump somewhere where other characters wouldn't be able to. So. <laughs> I just yeah. saw her throw a bit a body off a. Yeah. Off a balcony. There's, there's, there's a lot of bodies, you know, on the rooftops or um, you know on the higher levels. So she's gonna get there. And what's the easiest way to get them back down? Just throw them down and. Just eat them, them off a roof. Yep, just eat them and let the gravity take care of it, at least for a little while. I um, I really like Lati, she's super cool. Um, yeah. She's just lobbing a brick, I think. Uh, she's super fun to play because mm. like, you just get to things and just throw them down. It's, uh, that, and it's not that simple, but that, I just like the throwing down part. She jumps over stuff like, you know. Sometimes I keep forgetting that there are places in the game she can get to. It's insane how much freedom you've got with her. How much? How many places can you reach? It's actually yeah. insane. Yeah, she's really great. Um, I love. I just love everything. To be honest, this game is like just really lovely to look at as well. And watching her like jump around is just like really animated. It makes it feel really alive. Um, just watching her just being like uh, eyed up on with the, the civilians in the background while she's carrying a corpse. <laughs> yeah, uh, there are civilians in the background. And if you're carrying a corpse, that's not in a body bag. And because if it's in a body bag, who knows what's in, in a, you know, in a, in a bag, who knows what's in the bag, right? It's something wrapped up. But if you're carrying a body just straight up, people are going to look and people are going to notice and they're going to call the police. Hmm. So that's not a good idea. You gotta watch out for civilians as well on some maps. Uh, mainly for the, you know, your main opposition is the police. Uh, but civilians also happen. And you know, if it's five point five points, it's it's open. Mm -hmm. People are gonna come by, and you just need to take that into account and not really run around with bodies. I just want to give a shout out to the uh, the vacuum cleaner while we're here. Because uh, it's definitely an unsung hero, you know. I like oh, yeah. to. I mean, what they can do their jobs really well, but that vacuum cleaner really does. I mean, 
Just we, to, we already did job. it one work, it just does the job and it's so satisfying seeing the red being vacuumed in like, like Yeah. Being sucked away. It's, yeah. it's satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, it's so satisfying. You don't even know. Sometimes I'm I'm just like, you know what, I'm just gonna drag the bodies, make a little more blood puzzle <laughs> so I can suck them in because I just love that feeling of making things clean. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm just enjoying watching Latte just leap around. Yeah, uh, she's gonna be on a rooftop because that's not a problem for her. Yeah. If the ladder, ladder is a little bit too short, well, it doesn't matter. She's gonna <laughs> reach it. And some places you can only reach, you know, through the roof, for example, because it's it's closed in from the from the from the within. You you gotta find the key that someone died with. So. Yeah. I love it that they 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 die with a key, and then uh. <laughs> <laughs> they lock themselves in. They've died yeah. with their key. <laughs> if you have to die, just die without the key, like someone else. <laughs> well, she managed to get in, but you know, via the roof. So you know, yeah. only she'd so, be out again. Yeah, only um, it's her special thing. Getting to places you can't really get get to <laughs> that is the end. But you know, it just. Yeah, someone's gonna get to you sooner or later if you die with a key. Yeah, eventually. See, I, this is one of my favourite bits where it goes all the VHS store. Cause she oh, goes yeah. into a VHS store and I'm like, you know, I've been in a VHS store. Not many people can say that. <laughs> I, I mean, I've been to one, I think. I barely remember that. But Were yeah. you only like two or three? Yeah, yeah. I was, I'm... <laughs> I was really small. I remember that you know, it's foggy, but I remember that being a thing. And I think it closed out before I could return the VHS, so it stayed with me for a while. That's how I remember. Yeah, uh, yeah, they didn't hang around. Well, to be honest, when they evolved into DVDs, they didn't stay much longer either. So, um, R.I.P. VHS stores. Um, yeah, that's yeah. just how things go. I don't know. Unfortunately, yeah. or not, but they're gone now. They are gone. <laughs> yeah. Maybe likes the little, you know. I love the little box for the VHS in. Anyway, yeah. but there's there's a lot of lots of flavors like that in the game. I, mm. I don't really want to show all of them right now because it's nah. the fun. Exactly, but we can show this cool picture of our latte anyway. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Um, because yeah, yeah. uh, it's cool, right? Yeah, it's amazing, you know, it shows the, the pictures are messy, but, you know, 90s were messy and crime seasons are messy, so there's going to be a lot happening uh, on the pictures with the characters. Like, yeah, absolutely. I um, I guess this is uh, maybe, a, you know, we're, we're, we'll be coming to the end of our stream very soon anyway, um, but we want to show you some really cool pictures because uh, the art's really great and, our, yeah. you know, the characters are really cool. Um, if you know, psycho. <laughs> psycho is, well, he's he's the crowd favorite, but maybe for a good reason. I I don't know what that says about people who love him. Eh, you know, he's he's got character, doesn't he? I mean, he's good. I, I like him because. Yeah. But I'm not exactly sure if I'm the, a good benchmark for if if I'm a good role, good role model. So. Well, it's a, it's a role model for somebody. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's kind of scary, but yeah. But yeah, yeah, and he's got a lot of red about him, as you can probably see. It's his main color, because well, yeah. he he just makes blood makes red pop around. When he makes a warm. lot of red. I've noticed yeah. that that chainsaw makes a lot of red. Like you can almost make more red than there was before. You know, well, that's his time. But you've got smaller pieces then, so you, you you get a little bit more red. But you can't red. you can't throw a whole body into the the limb well, limb cutter. Mm. You can you couldn't do that. You have to that's have why, one. Yeah, that's why you gotta have limbs. And how do you get limbs with a chainsaw, obviously? And logic. The logic is sound. Yeah. And, and here's Viper, like. You know, that's her final style. Like she's got this her and that outfit, and you know, yeah. I really fit, think it fits her, especially in the isometric view. She's 
which is distinct if you're not gonna lose her when you're yeah. looking at the map. Yeah, she looks great, and uh, the colour palette's really great. I'd, I'd wear that outfit. Just wear it. Well, I wouldn't, but... <laughs> what, <laughs> what does that say about me? Well, you wouldn't, pair a nice pair, you wouldn't wear a nice pair of denim hot pants? No, no, I wouldn't. So, oh. I'm not exactly a style guru, so... Oh, yeah, you know, Bob, Bob might suit you a bit more. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not that... I don't really like shirts, they're like... I feel like they're too tight for me. I like to have it looser, but yeah, Bob, Bob's love them. He's stuck in the seventies, yeah, and it works for him. I, I think it works for him. Well, and, it does, and it suits him, which is why he's still wearing it. But as they say, fashion comes around all the time, so he'll be he'll be fashionable for the next ten at some years. Point, sure, I'm I'm sure whatever he's wearing right now is gonna come back and it's gonna exactly. be exactly, and it's gonna be. It's going to be great. Popular. Anyway, I guess it's a good moment to let you everyone know that, you know, Zero Cleaners has its own Twitter, which uh, Kuba lovingly takes care of. It's at Serial Cleaners. Um, you should all go and see it because Kuba does a wonderful job. It's uh, maybe not show your mother, but or, unless you've got a cool mother. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's great. Uh, so everyone should see it. You could also uh, wish list uh, serial cleaners on Steam if you fancy doing that. But um, yeah, everyone should. And, uh... Yeah, and if you got any question, feel free to you know hit me up, hit serial Cle at serial cleaners on, on Twitter or uh, wish list and ask in Steam discussions. Like you know, mm. and you can ask questions anywhere. I'll get them and I'll answer them. <laughs>